prisoners are mysteriously disappearing in Ba Sing Se. Mysteriously. And at a prison of the north, Tarok and Lord Zuko prepare for Zaheer's imminent attack. Chapter 4, In Harm's Way. So I think this is where it's going to go down. I'm expecting to see Zaheer this episode. I missed him last time. I'm on edge waiting to find out what Zaheer is all about. I really want to know his plan. Oh, it's her. He's coming. He's going to figure it out. Did you see Zaheer? The only thing I saw was a snowstorm heading our way. That's not a snowstorm. Yeah. <laughs> that is some serious airbending. I put you away once, Zaheer, and I'm going to do it again. Can you put away Zaheer? Whoa. Really starting this episode off with a bang. Oh, she's terrifying. <laughs> this is great. They really took this fight to the next level. That was easy. Carrying on the rich tradition of water bending being deadly. There he is. I'm not even gonna fire bend. I'm gonna let my dragon do it for me. I've waited 13 years to feel this warm. Right. That sound. Oh my god. Oh, he's not even on the dragon. As much as I want to see Zuko kick ass, he is old. I thought I'd never see you again. I never doubted. There they are, all together. Right now. <laughs> it's so interesting that they give them that, like, human touch. Like, they're just another crew, you know? They make the same joke about Aang and Katara, especially in the comics. Back to the fight. As much as I love Zuko, and as much as I like Eska and Desna and Katara's father, I feel like they botched that. <laughs> like, they knew he was coming. They knew he's powerful. My expectation was that uh, Zaheer and crew were going to, like, find a cunning way to do it, but they just, like, beat them in a fight. Luckily, it just happened to be a great fight. <laughs> Come visit again. We will, Grandma. I love you too, Grandma. And Chow. And Tu. And Meng Meng. <laughs> and Chow Jr. And there he is, Big T. And Little, little Big T. Big T. Little T. And Medium U. And, Medium and, U. <laughs> what was your name again? Where have you been? We chased Kai. Train slipped away. Laura Ring slipped in trash pile. Met her family. Grandma Tears. Mako Scarf. Earth Queen. Lying. Hmm. Sums it up pretty well. I swear the next time I see her, it's the Queen. What were you saying? Done. Tell her the news. We've received word from the Yang province. There have been reports of airbenders there. Wonderful, isn't it? It's the very thing you've been looking for. She's trying to get rid of her. Those people should not be forced to join an army. Well, technically, the Earth Queen has a right to conscript her citizens. What? <laughs> Don't worry, Janora. We'll find him. We just need to figure out where to look. I bet they're under Lake Laogai. How'd you know that? What? I've been reading some of Janora's books. Mm. The old Dai Li agents used to have a secret fortress beneath the lake. Yeah, they did. And I know how to check it out without being caught. I can project my spirit into it. Wow, she's that good? Well... Of course she is. It's not as powerful as it was during Harmonic Convergence. But right. if I can get close enough, I think I can do it. And that's why Janora got to come, Milo and Iki. Because she can astral project into Lake Laogai. When you can astral project yourselves into Lake Laogai, then you get to come on the world journey. And not a moment sooner. You will become the Earth Queen's elite fighting force and protector at all cost. It is your duty to serve the Earth Queen. No hypnotism this time? Go easy on me. I'm not that good. Mm. Now attack your opponent, and this time, I do mean it. I'm not a soldier. You will be when I'm through with you. Okay, this is good. I feel like I needed this scene from Kai because I needed some more positive elements of his character. Like, so far we've seen a lot of negative from him. Like, lying, stealing, manipulating, airbending Mako in the chest. In this scene, we get two nice things really quickly. Like, he just spared his sparring partner, which shows compassion. And also, defiance of 
unjust authority. Like, he just stood up to that Daily agent. There's only so far he can push it because he's a kid, right? But he has that in him. He has that spark. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he develops. If anything goes wrong, come back immediately. I will. That's amazing. What happened? Not there. It's completely deserted. Can you think of any other places the airbenders might be? Is this one of those clues that we can get, but that I'm too stupid to get? Like Boomy's identity? How did you find me during harmonic convergence? I think our spiritual connection led me to you. Maybe you can find Kai the same way. I know you two have a connection. <laughs> That's his face connection. was my face. <laughs> Kai's gonna be great at this. He's been trained by the mighty Janora. If you have time to help your friend, maybe you're not getting enough rocks for yourself. I guess you're not as good as you thought. Throw him in the hole. In the hole? Gotta admit he has heart though. Hmm? Oh, it worked! We're going to get you all out of here. But where are you? Janora. Thanks. I already saved the world. A couple airbenders is no big deal. The Earth Queen's temple. Oh, hiding in plain sight. We have to get into that compound tonight. All right. We go in under the cover of darkness. Two small insertion teams and a third on the outside. I'll bring three rose petals and a pack of ketchup. We place the rose petals on the path to the palace. Local mountain goats will descend from the hills, slip on the ketchup, and that will... Then all we'll need is 12 tons of blasting jelly, a medium-sized bulldozer, and... Does anyone have a badger mole that knows Morse code? I was pretty close. Oh, great. Not the queen again. Who is it, really? Yes, that was Lynn? as good as it could get. We need to get Cora out of here immediately. Her life's in danger. Oh, it's um, it's a here. How is that possible? Because a here is an airbender now. No. Will you quit ignoring me and tell me what's going on? Yes, we need exposition already. It's episode four. <laughs> Shortly after we found out you were the Avatar, Zaheer and three others attempted to kidnap you. Luckily, your father, Lord Zuko, Chief Sokka, and I were there to stop them. So that's why you and my dad sheltered me away. Mm. It was for your own safety. Why were they trying to kidnap Korra? We spent 13 years interrogating them, but they never broke. No, I want to know. These criminals are like nothing you've ever faced before. It's cool that they tied that back to season two. That also does a great job building the credibility and fear of Zaheer and his group. If even Tenzin and Lin are scared of them. It's also cool to think of Sokka protecting baby Korra. I would like to believe that his trusty boomerang was involved. I came here for one thing, to find airbenders, and I'm not leaving without them. Fine. Let's get them and get out of here. Where are they? In a military compound. So that was a really cool way to add stakes to this whole operation. Now there's time pressure too, because here's on his way. Is that Janora just like, Metal Gear Solid infiltrating this palace? Hi. It is. Hi. You shouldn't be walking around here all alone. I'm not alone. Even Boomju's there. This is kind of a big deal, that they're infiltrating this... Earth Queen's palace. To find the airbenders. This could be an international incident. You three find Kai. I love how Tenzin just entrusted Janora to Mako and Bolin. We're sneaking out? Yes, and we must leave now. We're going to get you away from the Earth Queen and out of the city. And into the air temple. Tenzin's new recruitment plan. There's an airbender that's not here. His name is Kai. Oh no. Top side, this is Papa Bear. The breezies are in the hold. Kill the balloons. What? <laughs> no, we got the airbenders and we're headed out. No one likes code names anymore. I love Boomy. Kai! Tenzin's not going to be happy about this. No, he's not. I'm really sorry about stealing your wallets and running away. Cool. And getting you stuck on that train. Oh, we can't stay mad at you. Yes, we can. <laughs> I had a lot of money in that wallet. Guys, come on. Cute. I like that scene. Deserting Her Majesty's Army is high treason. Punishable by death. Uh, allow me to introduce you to pro-bending champions Mako and Bolin and Earth Savior Janora. These airbenders are Earth Kingdom citizens and I am their queen. Taking them will constitute an act of war. 
Right. I will bear down on you with the entire force of my kingdom. They're leaving with me. No, they're not. This is kind of a big deal. It's always so cool watching the two of them fight together. I love it. That pisses me off. Get him. There you go. I guess I am as good as I thought. Nice. <laughs> Oh no! Everybody, hang on. Ah! Nice tough move there. We need those airships now. Oops. Uh, nice call back to Appa Shedding too. That's not the last of the Earth Queen though, I'm guessing. What path you decide is up to you. I want to go with you. Me too. Count me in. I want to go too. too. Me too. So I want to go too. Air Nomads first class. Temple. No, stay together. And stay safe. I'll try. I'm not ready for the world trip to end. Tenzin was such a cool part of it, but I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do. It seems like wherever I go, I make a new enemy. But you made some new friends, too. This is only the beginning. Why are these episodes so short? <laughs> <laughs> that episode was so much fun. Action packed, start to finish. That was crazy. We started off with that great fight. I'm on the edge of my seat waiting to get more from Zaheer. I really want to know what he's all about. And I just want to hear him talk. <laughs> so that's going to do it for episode four. Hope to see you soon for episode five. What the hell? Just like that? No warning? Wow. What kind of fruit is this? Here you go. Congratulations.